Hello and welcome back to Factorio Tightening the Belt Mega Base Guide. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me. Uh, today we're going to work on expanding and increasing production for the rocket parts. Uh, because, you know, we still have to increase our science production, uh, which we have done with red and green. However, uh, I, and we have to do it with the others too, but uh, really our bottleneck actually is uh, rockets. You know, because if we want to be doing more uh, mining productivity or anything like that, or even bot stuff, you know, we're going to start needing uh, space science packs. So we need uh, more rockets. And currently our holdup is low density structures. Uh, and these, which I find interesting because uh, out of these two, this one you would think we'd actually be shorter on materials. Um, these should be able to sustain quite a large production boost. Uh, the first boost we can do though is just add level three assemblers here to both of these. We do want to try to increase them at about the same rate. Um, so we'll just extend the length and then we're also going to add in some beacons. So let's go ahead and throw this guy in here. Yeah, okay. In fact, this isn't even needed because it's connected through there. Uh, okay, so let's do that. We do want to productivity this again because, uh, you know, the, well, that's maybe a little bit much for right now uh, because the productivity uh, is uh, is just really good in these uh, in the rocket part stuff. So we do want to make sure to throw those in, and we'll just start with two for now. It's better than nothing for sure. I mean that's still twelve percent productivity. Uh, but then we do need to get get these sped up because that's part of the problem. Is that these are you know very slow even with the level. Uh, three assemblers. They're not even a one craft speed due to those modules slowing them down. So let's go ahead and get these like that. And we'll get some power pulls going. Uh, I did actually automate these last stream, so we should add this stuff to our request thing. Like 50 of those. Some of these would be good. Uh, I'll just do the rest, I, I guess, as it comes to me as I think about it or don't have it. Uh, and then this one, I'm not sure what exactly these were going to the network for, but uh, we will want to replace that. Let's do that. And then this guy, uh, like I said, we will want to replace this. So we'll just move this down. Um, we could go a bit further, I guess. We have a couple more assemblers, so we might as well use them, right? Oh. Oh. I was like, wait, how did those, how did those get in that other one? Uh, there we go. All right, so now we can just get some power pulls here, here, and here. Have this come over. And then we'll just put this uh, thing here at the end again. Uh, I want to move it a little bit out. Make sure that other one can get all that it needs first. And uh, yeah, I'm not, like I said, I'm not really sure what we're these, storing these for, but pro maybe like the artillery shells or something. Uh, but we do want to make sure that we put this back. And we'll just say less than 50, because I'm pretty sure that's what it was at. And this is still in the network, barely. Uh, so this is now going to need quite a bit of stuff. We actually don't need to make these, we have 50. Uh, and then we did request those, um, those fast inserters, which will be good. Okay, that was clearly in the wrong spot. There we go. Luckily, the, I mean, these things, the plastic and the copper and the steel are things that are very easy um, to increase production of or increase throughput of. So that's, uh, these should not really be a problem even once we speed beacon them. Uh, the blue circuits and then also the speed modules I'm slightly concerned about. I mean, you can see how these speed module machines are potentially lagging because of the lack of red circuits, which that is uh, that is just due to a lack of green circuits, which, yikes. Um, that looks to be a copper problem still. Yeah, on the last stream, we did, incre we did uh, uh, buff these smelters up to steel furnaces and red belt and such. But uh, we never did it to this other one here, which is definitely causing a problem. 
because we're yeah we're having this bit of a copper shortage which is then giving us a red circuit shortage so that's not very good uh, we we do want to go ahead and try to fix that but this guy is slowly getting there we will of course want to beacon and speed module him and make sure that we uh, have enough power to power maybe creeping up there so that green circuit thing is gonna be uh, gonna be a problem we're gonna have to fix that Okay, so unfortunately, these ones we can't actually beacon like that. Uh, what we're going to have to do is something very unfortunate. We may just have to partially beacon this. Uh, so what we what we can do, though, is you can do something like this. And then stick beacons in between here. It's not going to be nearly as much beaconing as I would like. But it's certainly uh, doable. And I, yeah, no... <laughs> I know I'm dropping this stuff all over the ground here. These only stacking in tens is uh, quite frustrating. But understandable. Okay, so he's just about done, really. I mean, I don't know why I didn't... I should have just put some sort of buffer box here. In, in reality, that would have been much smarter. Uh, okay, so we've got that. Uh, it's not, like I said, it's not as many beacons as we want, but we will just, we'll just do speed module 3s, and then these, of course, are in the way. As always, something is in the way. But, hey, this is part of what we go through, you know? This is part of the process I was talking about before, is, um, is, uh, you know, just expanding the builds how we can. Now, I'm slightly concerned that this is not going to provide even coverage like, some things may have more beacon coverage than others. Because, uh, like, as this stands now... Okay, so there is room in here for power poles. It's just not great. Like most of our other builds, we just won't look at the power poles. <laughs> and uh, hope for the best. I uh, can see... So this is now affected by... Uh, number of effect sources, three. Yeah, you can... So, so some of these... Well, actually, all of these, except this last one, is affected... These last couple is affected by... So if we just do this... And then do the same over here... Uh, this should work. Yeah. That should make all of them be hit by... Four? Oh, come on, man. Gotta be kidding me. Okay, well, this can move out one. Uh, let's just make it the same. Okay, so that, yeah, now they're all hit by four. Uh, so we'll just grab some speed or speed modules here. I mean, it's not great, but it's certainly better than nothing, right? I mean, these are now a craft speed of 2.1, which is, you know, even double uh, my craft speed as a player. And, and much more than the level uh, three assemblies by themselves. Plus, we're getting the productivity. So this should be uh, much better than it was, and this rocket is actually ready to launch. Uh, so we can go ahead and launch this, uh, get those extra packs out, and then uh, red circuits are what's really holding up these speed modules and stuff, I think. And potentially just general production of them, I may need to expand that as well. Always fun to watch these rocket launches. There we go, and shortly we should get these packs. Boom, there we go. Uh, so there's another thousand. Yeah, these things are really holding things up. And honestly, it's not even because of a lack of red circuits at this point. It's uh, because of they're just slow. Should probably request that. Okay, so if we upgrade these, I mean, we can fit more. Like this, just we could just turn this, make this go more over here. Uh, this does need to grab, so he can just grab from the corner, I guess. Usually something I prefer to avoid, but it, not for, like, the fact it doesn't work. I just don't like it, personally. Now, <laughs> this is going to be way overkill. Uh, like I've said, uh, you know, this... <laughs> uh, there's no way we have enough red circuits to do this. Uh, but, again, it's like... You can't, it, it's really hard or, or almost impossible to find your bottlenecks until you create a bottleneck, if that makes sense. Be, I mean, because maybe there isn't a bottleneck that exists. Uh, so by increasing production here, uh, we're not only going to at least have the possibility 
to supply more modules here, we can now find our bottleneck better. Uh, now, these being first is important. Be well, actually, never mind. It's actually, I'd actually prefer these to be first. Um, so we just need more red circuits. And I mean, this is a full belt. Maybe this just needs to be red belt. Because the red circuits aren't even getting here at this point, which means that there's no science. These, I mean, the red circuits are definitely picking up. We could red belt this. Yeah, I don't know how many are really gonna make it down there. Oh dear, uh, because yeah, we should we should definitely red belt that. Oh, you don't need to do it the whole way. The point though is to get more flowing here. Now this is just, I mean, this is what it is. Making this red belt won't do anything, except get it from here to here faster. Because um, this isn't even a full yellow belt. But hopefully that helps. I mean, you can see that like one, <laughs> I guess, is making it pass. Oh dear, okay, this may not be able to share a belt. This could uh, pose a problem. We may need to reconfigure some things. Yeah, this belt may need to go away temporarily and have this just be a solid red circuit belt. I mean, what we could do, I and mean, we can do some some shenanigans here. <laughs> what we can do is output priority right. Can I just like... If you just do red circuits, though, the problem is it's never going to send red circuits that way. So, I kind of have to have both. Um, this can actually be yellow. Red is fine. Um, what we'll do is we'll actually just get rid of that for now. And then we'll do it here, I guess. Yeah, because then what we'll do... Oh. Well, yeah, it can be yellow, and then we'll output priority that way. So essentially what this is going to do is it's going to say, you know, prioritize sending red circuits to the bottom belt, which then goes to the top belt. Like, there's probably a cleaner way to do this, but... Um, and then once this, you know, once this is backed up, once it doesn't need any more, uh, then it'll send the excess this way. Which, I mean, at this point, is pretty much just meaning this gets none, uh, but... We just need to increase red circuit production. And this build, I think this build is like, it could work more. It could, it could get some more stuff. Uh, I could definitely get some more circuits. Um, I'm a little bit concerned. Actually, yikes. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, this is not gonna work. Cause I mean, you can look at like how much is left in these chests and the train just left. So I'm thinking we actually probably need two trains here uh, for this guy. Kind of like we have for the iron. Because, you know, this is likely going to run out by the time we get the other train back. Uh, okay, so we've, we, we've done the rocket thing. We could actually just add that other train. And also, I don't need all these beacons on me right now. Because uh, the other train should be pretty simple. We already have that stacker set up here. So it, it should be, uh, theoretically, just as simple as adding some more miners to that other half of the patch. And then getting the... Uh, and then getting just a train set up there. So, I mean, this is enough rail because we, we're just going to hook it in the main line. Uh, and then we just need stuff for this. Lots of stuff. That looks like primarily engines... How many engines do I have? Plenty. So now we just need steel. So, boom, boom. One, two, three, four. Some more steel would be good because, you know, I'm probably going to need it while I'm up there. <laughs> and it would be infuriating to not have any. Uh, so we have that. That, Like I said, that's enough track. And then miners. I could just request miners because I, I keep putting them in storage. Uh, in fact, really what we should do here is... Uh, Cancel you, first off. Uh, we should do what we did for the belt, because what we can do here is have this request miners, because that's going to take all of them from stores. It's just going to put them in a central place right here, and then they can supply that to me, which or I can just come grab it, which is really nice. 
Uh, okay, so finish that up. And then, I don't know, I don't need all these yellow undergrounds, jeez. Uh, red belt, we'll probably, red belt, we probably have enough, maybe. I mean, we could just red belt the whole thing, honestly. I think we should get some more belt, though. We are going to need stack inserters as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab another stack of reds, and... Where are these going? Oh. I'm dumb. That's what happens when you auto trash stuff, you idiot. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> oh, dear. Um, Alright, I thought I was doing so good this episode, and, and then I... At least I caught it quick. At least I wasn't standing there for like five minutes trying to figure out what was happening to all my stuff. Uh, okay, so we've got all that. That should be good. Chests, we can make those. Uh, and, and yeah, I mean, really, we should be in good shape. So, we'll just zip over to that iron or that copper patch. Gar grab a little more iron while we're here. And then, uh, and then set that up. And that should be pretty darn good. That should get things flowing. Because then we can, uh, when I stream tomorrow, we can upgrade the smelters and all that for the copper. And that outpost will already be uh, all, all set up and, and such. So... To expedite the process, let's just hop in here. Got a man. Oh, I was gonna say, got a manual drive. It's always more fun until you die. Like almost now. <laughs> okay, he was turning. I would have been fine. I love like the whirring up, and I just blew past the thing. You idiot. All right, let's. <laughs> This is asking for death, this this here. Uh, okay, so we'll just hop out. We'll hope that the rest of the way it's not that far. Well, good thing I hadn't done that a little bit later. We would have been in trouble. Uh, Alright, so what we're just going to do is kind of like what we did on that iron patch over there to the right. Is we're just going to tap the other half of this patch and then put in a, a second station. We could just, we could share this station. We would just need a stacker here. Uh, and, I mean, really, I don't know. I'm considering if that's a better option. Because <laughs> there's not, not actually that much of this patch left to tap. It's not going to provide that much. Well, either way, I want to I wanna get what we can here. So, and clear up my inventory because I was dropping wood on the ground. <laughs> so, we need to use up some of these miners. I mean, this is quite a bit. This, one, this right here, this particular row, is probably a full red belt worth. Um, I don't know the exact numbers, I never remember them on miners per belt ratios, but this is, uh, that's a really long row. Now this is going to be a bit uneven, uh, this one, because it, how it lines up, you know, there's a lot more on that other side, which is a bit of an issue. Come on. Alright, so some of this, like this one, could probably just be a yellow belt. This one can be a yellow belt for part of it. Probably like here-ish. Uh, we'll put it here to be safe. And then this one, same type of deal. It's, it's not the same as that, but I think there's a couple more miners there maybe. And we actually need another miner anyways. Aha, uh -huh, I knew I, oh no, I, I was going to say I knew I forgot something, but no, the bots have brought me power pulls. That's the power of actually remembering to request stuff in your request slots. Oh. No, power, power is still doing well. We, um, of course, we're not researching. When we research, I bet we're going to be almost maxed out. I think we probably have the potential for about 240 megawatts from that current nuclear. Uh, okay, so we only have three lines from here, which is not great. Um, <laughs> but I mean, if I mean, really though, we would almost we would need a second line like this. Would it not be better to just have a little stacker guy and just have them share a station? Like, would that actually just not be better? That would probably be better, wouldn't it? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with these lines, but. Can we, do, we could do like a, can we do like a 7 to 4 or like 8 to 4 balancer? We could do something like that just to make sure it all goes here. 
Or we could just send it on the other side of the train, even. Do we just want to do that? Have it have a double double sided? We could do that. Why don't we do that? Or if we're gonna share the station, yeah. Then we'll just throw like a little doohickey stacker. Super technical term. Okay. Well, all those craft. Let's stick that here. Probably gonna need more than that. Oh. Oh, come on. <laughs> we'll get it eventually. Okay, so we've got that, and then here, here, and here. Uh, okay, so what? So here's the thing with these balancers is, it's um that's not the book. Where is the book? I had a book. Here we go. Uh, so you could there are there is a three to four balancer in here, although it um it's better in my opinion and uh a lot of other people's opinions who are uh, pretty good experts in this that it's better to just do like power of two balancers like this um so even though we have only three lines here it's just to do a four to four and just only send three lines into it rather than doing a three to four because it can get a little janky sometimes i mean technically they're fine uh i, I just think i feel safer doing this uh, than doing one of those other ones that's just kind of a little bit wonky. It, it may just be like a really weird thing of me that makes no sense, but... So here we go. This is actually working quite well. Quite well until we screw it up. <laughs> it was working well. Uh, we may not have enough belt for this, guys. Crap. And, I, well, I can say belt because I didn't need four lines, as I'm just talking about not needing four lines. It's habit. Can I make any of this? 13. That is not going to be very helpful. Uh, what we may need to do... We can just underground this. These undergrounds can reach like eight or whatever. So <laughs> to conserve Bell, I'm just gonna underground it because we already have the undergrounds made. So that will conserve Bell. And hopefully, yeah, that should give us enough. Uh, okay, so then this dude is, we'll just kind of do same type of deal we have here. And all we have to do is build a little bit of a Stacker, and it's going to be way simpler than the one we did in base, because there's only two trains coming here. Uh, so, let's do that. I'm probably not going to have enough belt, am I? Watch me run out. Oh no, there's 77 there, okay. I was like, <laughs> watch me run out just when I'm this close. Damn it. Oh, come on. You can reverse rotate, by the way, by shift R. Uh, but I always find it easier to just hit R, usually. Uh, okay, so we've got that. And then now what we can do is clear out this rock. So this this is still going to be a one-way track here. But what's going to happen, what we can do, is just put a little side stacky thing here. And this is, <laughs> this is something, do not do this, like... Unless, like, don't do this unless you're just having, like, two trains like I am. I mean, you could expand it to more trains, but in that point, you might as well just do something like this. This this is better. I don't feel like doing that. Uh, so what we're going to do is you just you can just pull off here. Make sure the train fits, obviously, which may be questionable here. Uh, but what we, so what we do, and actually this is probably bad, because that was, like, right on a curve, and you can't signal on a curve like this. So we want to make sure we can signal it because we do have to signal this. If you don't signal it, you're going to have problems. So this is only for input. Right? This is only an input stacker. So what we do here is we put a signal here for the input. However, we're going to need some chain signals somewhere because otherwise we're going to have we're going to have problems. Uh, so this needs to go here and then damn it all the hell. You go there, and so this one is saying it's red uh, because we haven't actually done this 
correctly yet. I'm thinking uh, this is not actually going to work because they almost both need to be they both need to be bi bi-directional because what what could happen is that uh, one trains in here the other train that comes in may not want to sit here so he may just sit here and then this one can't leave because Unless we just make this only an exit. Why don't we just make this, yeah, why don't we just make this only the exit? So this essentially is just two tracks. <laughs> it's just shorter and it's a bypass uh, is what's gonna happen here. Um, because what this should allow, uh, but but then this part does need to be bi-directional. It's just a bypass is, is all it is. Um, so, I mean, this should work, <laughs> theoretically. Uh, yeah, because he's going to come here. So, like, if we put one here, he can't go here, right? Because this is now only one way. However, if this guy's here, he'll still be able to go because this is going this way and that's going that way. Just as long as we don't have some sort of crash, which maybe, maybe in the future, we'll see. Uh, but for now, what we'll do is we'll just place these, this guy here and get you like that. I'm going to shift copy and paste his orders. Uh, can, can, can you not? There. Jeez. Uh, so you're just going to go. And we'll see if this works. So this thing is frantically loading. Hopefully this can actually support two trains. I'm not, I'm not actually sure. Uh, now, of course, this is uneven loading because there's less on this side. But it doesn't really matter because we're just mining the whole patch. You, I could throw this all through a balancer. We could throw this all through like an eight to eight balancer if we wanted. I don't think it matters that much, honestly. Of course, now we're stranded out here. Hold up, wait for me. Uh oh. All right. <laughs> Now we're good. I'm going to end it here, guys. I'm pretty happy with what we got down. That should increase the copper, and then we should be in good shape to uh, get the copper smelters going better. And I think that's going to do it for now. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. Any questions, comments, do leave them down below. And, uh, hey, there's the other train. Uh, I think that'll do it. Anyway, until next time, I'll look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.